Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system from the user Free Electronica to uh, check out. So their system is called Voltage. Without further ado, we're going to hop straight into this. So it's on the workshop. I've already got it all uh, downloaded, ready to go. Here it is. Okay, let's see what we have got here. Okay, right. Cool. Ah, it's like a nice little system here. Okay, so Voltage is a F9V main sequence nearly uh, 1,800 light years from Earth. It's halfway through its main sequence stage and not a lack of sun, however it is slightly more active. It is home to seven planets, two of them having life and one distant brown dwarf. Okay, cool. So there's a star itself, checking it, its stats, larger than mass, radius is larger than the sun, higher temperature, more luminous. Okay, so it's a more developed, sort of, almost like a more developed, slightly older version of like the sun really in comparison. Anyways, first of the planets, Gateway, an intermediate mass super Earth, or intermediate mass super Earth that orbits in a very eccentric orbit close to voltage. It is eternally covered in a thin magma ocean. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. And its orbit is constantly being changed by the more massive torrent. In fact, it is expected that 20 uh, or 250,000 years into the future, torrent's gravity will plunge Gateway into voltage altogether. Okay, so there you go. So pretty, uh, there's a magma ocean on it as well. Cool. So next up we got Torrent here, so a hot Neptune, now ah, that's why it's uh, pushing the other planet around, so a hot Neptune with an explosive atmosphere. It was originally unclear how it got here, but as expected now, multiple residents with cordial in the past forced it to migrate inwards. Both it and Gateway are tardy locked. Ah, okay. Tardy locked gas giant. Okay, cool. Next up we have got uh, Mauv, I hope I said that right, Matt Malv. The Earth analogue of the system is a low-mass super-Earth of alien life covering the surface. Ooh, okay. Uh, a widespread species of bacteria produces its oceans, um, turning them a bright purple. The planet's namesake and turquoise vegetation covering the continents due to the uh, spectrum of voltage. It is the birthplace of an advanced civilization that has built giant cities, uh, flown space planes, and currently terraform their moon, making the presence in interstellar space. They're also purple and have a very big blue spiky hair so that's pretty sick <laughs> okay so there's that planet uh, then onto the moons so it's got a big crater this one actually look at that so a very big crater on it pretty cool got a little ring as well to roll of it and then it's also got another moon nor over here so there it is nice also with a big crater on it okay cool anyways onto the planet itself so here it is and yeah looking that pretty cool so there you go Nice. Right, next up we have got uh, Erie over here. Similar to Mars in the Notion era, unlike uh, Mars, Erie kept its habitability due to its greater mass and thicker atmosphere. Its numerous rivers, lakes and seas have quite recently sprouted at unicellular life, a prime location for study of the Moravian astrobiologists. It has occasionally captured temporary moons um, from the asteroid belt which it practically sits inside. Ah, uh, okay. If we zoom out, yeah, okay, so you can see the asteroid belt. It's on the inner sort of depths of this asteroid belt. Okay, cool. Right, next up, we're taking a jump probably to the outer solar system now. So we've got a uh, Vida scene. The innermost of the outermost gas giants credited for its stunning beauty. It takes the traits of many of our gas giants, the composition of Saturn and Jupiter, and the colour akin to Uranus and Neptune. Um, and moons as boring as Uranus's. Okay, so it's got a very, very boring set of moons, so... There you go. And yeah, I said it, I probably said it before, but Uranus definitely has the least interesting moon system out of our whole solar system, I think. Uh, moving on. Uh, we've got Saffron over here. A, su a yellow super Jupiter, that's really it. It has many major moons, one of them having a thick atmosphere in a deep methane ocean, like Titan, but on steroids. It also has a prime spot for illegal dealings for the more crooked Maravians due to its large size and relative boringness. Ah, okay. Interesting. So is it Curio that's the one with the atmosphere? No. Which one is it? Where's our uh, where's our Titan-like moon? Sa I'm guessing it's Salby here. Let's have a look at the other ones quickly, though. Oh, it's definitely it's got to be this one. Yeah. Okay, so this is like Titan. So there it is there. Okay. Looking pretty cool. Looking underneath the atmosphere and clouds. There you go. So that's got a very deep blue methane ocean. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, da -da. The outermost of the outermost gas giants, so outermost that's barely illuminated voltage. If you look past it, it's a striking red colour. Oh, there's no name for this one. What's that? So I'm guessing it's Cordial over here. Okay. 
So the outermost of the outermost gas giants. So outermost, it's barely illuminated. Um, if you look past, it has a striking red colour and one major moon. Unsurprisingly, it's uh, encased in ice. It has an unusually inclined orbit. The reasons are still disputed. Okay. Uh, where's its moon? I don't see its moon. So it's obviously a big, uh, big distance away from the other gas giants. I don't see... Oh, where is the moon? No, I, don't, I don't see any moon. I don't know where that's gone. Okay. Next up, we got Vespa. The reason why this is technically a binary system, although too far away from it to be lit by voltage, Vespa emits a small, dull red colour of its own, which captures the heart of space tourists who are willing to pay a buck or two for a ride. <laughs> so, hidden brown dwarf, very, very dim on the outer edges of this system. So, pretty cool. So, there's Vespa. Now, I've also added three neighbouring systems for you to explore if you wish. They don't have descriptions though and are not as detailed as the main system. Probably not the most exciting system you've seen, but I consider it to be alright. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I always like a bit of reading. So, that's the main system. But we also have some neighbouring solar systems. Now remember, in reality, not every system is exciting. So, I mean, yeah, it does fit in fairly well. So, we've got this system over here as well. So, orbits on. So, obviously a star. This one's nowhere near as a... Uh, big as the sun and its stats. We've got plasma here. So we've got another warm sort of Neptune-like object there. Okay. Uh, next up we've got Hydron over here. So there it is. So an all uh, cloudy sort of world there. An all ocean underneath as well. Okay. Cool. We've got Salaby over here. Another one of those moons. Big craters bashed up to shreds that one. Look at that. Uh, next up we've got Russ. So there's this one, so another gas world. It's a Barry Center over there. It looks like there's a binary system. Um, Foston over here. There's that one, so you can see it's pretty, uh, pretty generic looking. Okay, so zooming out. Okay, whoa, what's all this? So there's Voltage. Then we have Salby over here. So another object called Salby. So this uh, also has some uh, planets. So we'll just have them highlighted in the top here so we can see them all. So there's the first of the planets there. Uh, we've got Advent over here. So that's a Venus like world. You can tell straight away that looks like Venus. So there it is. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Terrine over here. It's a nice Earth like world. Got some clouds going with it. So that's a uh, yeah, nice Earth like conditions there. Steppy. So another uh, cold world, kind of like Mars, I guess. And then it has one gas giant in orbit as well. Looking good. Okay, so we check both of those out. So now we have Barry Center over here. So this is the final system around here. So we've got a binary star system. There's one planet. Cool. Nice. So there you go. One planet around here. And yeah, there we are. That does it for this system. So that was the vaulted system, plus a few extra systems um, in nearby space as well. So yeah, guys, what do you think of that? So if we look here from voltage, the closest system is definitely the Radinant system. And then these other two are fairly, uh, fairly uh, close, but are fairly. Uh, they look roughly around the same distance. I probably would say that this one's slightly closer, just looking as a rough indicator. I mean, they are very, very close, but I, uh, that's quite a hard. I mean, I don't know which one's closer actually, but actually, what we can do is have a quick uh, look. So, 10.2 light years roughly over here. It is 9.4 light years. So yeah, that side is slightly closer by a light year or two. So pretty cool. But yeah, there's the voltage system. Yeah, nice little system actually. Not too uh, detailed, but yes, yeah, sometimes um, they don't have to be. So yeah, I liked it. Very, very nice indeed. But yeah, there we go. So that is that. So that was submitted by the user Free Electronica in Discord. So massive thank you to them for checking uh, off and sending this system in. And yeah, guys, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe up there and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.